evening to all of you my dear friends in this video we will we will discuss about the uh, archaeology and uh, its relation with natural science age then let us get start natural science age there are some type of natural science age like geology physics chemistry botany geology the, this is not geology this is geology okay then uh, and then now we will talk about the geology geology is the study of department of the earth especially as preserved and in its crust formation the first greatest contribution of geology to prehistoric archaeology is the principle of stratigraphy and what is stratigraphy we will discuss about it then stratigraphy stratigraphy helps to determine the relative dating of artifact found in different levels the study of rocks minerals cores stones soils land formation and landscapes river migration river terrace formation geology helps to understand the patterns which determine human habitat in on the earth the artifacts recovered from the particular geological formation like river tracing period provide the relative dating to the site there are two two layers that is layers first type uh, geological layers and the second is archaeological layers the naturally formed sedimental layers are the geological layers while the cultural deposit deposit in the geological layers is called archaeological layers and again we will discuss about the stratigraphy stratigraphy is the study of stratification example for the interpretation of the horizontal layer that forms the deposit over time and uh, and then now we will discuss about the physics what is the relation between physics and archaeology physics provide lots of equipments which helps in the survey gps global global positioning system is used for the finding the sites gis geographical information system which provide mapping of the site basically it is a computer software microscopic study it is used to study the stone tools found in the ex excavation excavation means digging it tells that how the stones were used or for or for what purpose it was used drones it is used for area survey site photography and uh, videography chemistry and then now we will talk that what is the relation of archaeology with chemistry and archaeology chemistry is used in the presentation and uh, preservation and uh, conservation of the artifacts monuments after the excavation the artifact the articles found are coated with pva poly vinyl acetate acetate for protection from acidic or basic nature provinces the study of po poetry it is used for finding the components used in the making and the two know that what was the what was cooked for the last time in the pot botany we will talk that what is the relation of botany with archaeology it gives the information about flora and fauna it is important because it it tells about the climatic condition 
and types of plants they grow in mesolithic period it was used it was it was found that people used bhang at the at the time my dear friends now we will talk that what is the relation of archaeology with the geology it it mainly deals with the fossils bones and remains of animals it is important because we want to know that how animals were used the edge weapons and edge a cattle at that time dental microscopic study it is used to determine the animal species with this we finish our discussion on the topic of relationship of archaeology with natural sciences and we will meet with another new video thank you